Today I'm going to discuss about one question that was asked to me in next year's interview. So the question was about the API. So you can see that we have got this user endpoint. Normally in next year's what happens is that we keep all the endpoints, API endpoints under this API directory under pages directory. So here we have got simple uh, user endpoint and we have got this if conditions to handle the get and post requests. So what they asked is that what will be the output of this or the response of this particular uh, post endpoint basically. So for example, if this particular endpoint gets one post request, what will be the output? Like what object will be sent in the response? So here it is very simple. From the request, we are getting the body property and then um, it will basically give me that uh, JSON object and then from that JSON object, I'm extracting the name. JSON polar in the request uh, has this name property. That name property will be, you know, the value of that name property should be displayed over here. And here is the sample request payload. So you can see that in the body, I'm sending this name John and email as this one. And over here, we are extracting the name. So it's very simple, like the output should be user created and then that username John. But if you execute this code, what happens is that it will show undefined. So you can see user created undefined. I was expecting user created John because in the request payload, it is John. So why it is showing undefined? That was the question. So my logic was that whatever is the request uh, JSON is there, it will be converted into an object and then that object will be assigned to B. But here was a mistake like next JS will automatically convert that JSON into an object provided there is a content type header. So if you pass the content type header as application slash JSON, then only next JS will convert this particular object, uh, sorry, this particular JSON string because server gets the JSON in the form of string. It is not an object. So next JS will look at this content type header. If it is application slash JSON, then only it will try to convert this particular JSON string into JSON object. So to fix that, all I had to do was that I had to pass this content type as uh, application JSON. So if I go to the front end code, you can see here I have commented it. But if I pass this content type application JSON, what happens is that next JS uh, middleware will convert this uh, string JSON into JSON object. So you can see now uh, it is saying user created John. So it was all about this header content type application JSON. That's it. Thanks for watching.